Fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lady Day, and this is the Healing Butterfly. I truly appreciate all of you stopping by, lending me your energy, your insight, your curiosity. Please like the videos, share the videos, subscribe to the channel. Leave me some feedback below in the comments. <laughs> Uh, by all means, feel free to follow me on Instagram. And if you are looking for a personal reading, um, Instagram or my email address is below to reach out. My calendar is open at this time. Alrighty, today's reading is the WTF Love Reading. So without further delay, we're going to get right into it. Aries, Leo, and Sag, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you um, for giving me your energy, okay? So let's get right into these questions today. Um, please only take what resonates. Um, if it doesn't fit your story, please don't hold on to it. You may end up making some real serious uh, life decisions based on energy and or messages that were not being directed towards you particularly, okay? So if it doesn't fit your life, don't try to make it fit. Don't try to apply it, okay? All right, let's get right into it. So, Spirit, let's get into the WTF love reading for the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Please give me uh, divinely guided, clearly guided messages from the divine source. Please keep us in your protection of the divine white light, light, Holy Spirit, divine spirit. Thank you, ancestors, deities, and goddesses being here to direct, correct, and confirm the messages. We bind and rebuke anything demonistic, witch, warlock, satanic, spell bound, spell casted, looky loose, and spiritual wickedness in high, high and low places. Thank you. Uh, keep us from the things and the demons seen and unseen. Only those that have been called and that are of the one true divine source so welcome into my space, into the energy, and into this message. We bind and rebuke anything and anyone that has not been called and that is of the one true divine source. You must go, you must go, you must go. As it is above, it shall be here below. I say, amen, namaste, and so mote it be. So that's a prayer that I normally say before I even come into my readings. So there might be some negative energy around you trying to keep you off your path. Make sure that you keep yourself protected because there's a lot of, I feel like um, someone is saying a lot of Houdini going on right now for you, okay? So currently in the love life, WTF is currently going on in the love life for the fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sag, what is current? Okay, message in a bottle, number 15. Okay. Uh... Thank you, Spirit. Message in the bottle, number 15, WTF Current. Uh, what are the blockages? What are they blinded to in regards to love? So what is an action card? Thank you. By the book, number 11. And then possible three months down the line. Possible outcome three months down the line, Spirit. For the Aries, Leo, and Sag signs. Element of fire. Three months down the line. Possible outcome. Thank you, Spirit. Higher power. Number four, bottom of the deck is peace. Number 23. Alrighty, let me channel into these energies while I pick up the tarot to get some clarity. So currently, message. So you want to message someone. You're waiting for a message for someone. It feels difficult for to get someone to message. So I'm gonna. Wow, I'm getting your your like you're talking to yourself. It's so difficult to get them to message me. It's so difficult for me to to, to, to pick up the phone. It's so difficult for me to for me to just reach out or for them to reach out. Why won't they just reach out? Why won't they make this easier on me? Um, why won't they give me a break? Why I can see I can see clearly that they're supposed to or they need to or I need to or someone needs to. Like, why can't we just get this together? OK, currently, that's what I'm feeling. That's what's going on. There's like a need. It's almost like you're like, are you watching your phone? Are you watching your inbox? It's like you're what like you're watching and waiting for this person to come out. Maybe you've sent out um, energy to have this person contact you and they still haven't. Um, but what you're missing is that this has to be done by the book. It's the first thing that, sh that shouted out. Because they're not doing it by the book. That was the first. As soon as this card came out, that's what I heard. Because you're not doing it by the book. And then for the, the possible outcome to be the number four, stability, you know, the higher power, being divinely guided somewhere. This is a possible outcome that could bring you a lot of peace and the treasure island and make you and bring back the place, no place like home, right? Because in a deep knowing, you know that this is your feminine person. You know that this is your feminine energy. You know that she makes you feel like home. You know that she she's a treasure that you never thought that you probably would ever find in a woman before. You want to go the distance and have this new life. Wow. 
the peace that you're looking for and the treasure island that you found this person to be because they're no place like home, like her, because you deeply know that this is your person, that this is the community or the family that you were supp supposed to go the distance with and start a new life with. Now you're thinking. 44, thinker. Thinking about how, the, how, how something was not fair, that you stayed in between worlds with someone who was not for you. Thank you, spirit. Let's just get into clarifying at this point. <laughs> All right, I don't want to hold anyone up. I'm going to just go ahead and get into it because I feel like there's a lot of wanting to know in, in, information or in, information and energy. Maybe there's energy around you that you don't understand, so you feel, okay, that's maybe where the, the hocus pocus and illusions is coming from. What's the message in a bottle? WTF for current. Yeah, eight of cups. Someone has either moved on. You feel like they've moved on. You want to know if they moved on. Um, you moved on. Nope, not you. You haven't. Nope. Someone else. Towards their son. Thank you, spirit. To start. And you could feel a new contract starting in this person's life. Someone's moved on. It's causing you to want to call them. What's the message in the bottle, spirit? Thank you. Yep. Behind the moon. So you feel it. You may not know it for a fact. Behind the moon. But you feel it. You feel like someone has decided, has moved on, has taken their energy and moved on. What's the message in the bottle? One more card, please. Thank you, Spirit. The Queen of Wands. Very beautiful woman. Very intuitive woman. Very passionate woman. Or you had a lot of passion for them. You seen them as the Queen of Wands. Ace of Wands, you wanted a brand new beginning, a passionate start with this person. Ace of Swords, that's the truth that you juggled this situation, didn't see it from a higher perspective, didn't didn't do the Eight of Wands come in to start this Ten of Pentacles sun. So, what? I need one more on this. One more card for Message in a Bottle, Spirit. Message in a Bottle. Message in a Bottle. Wow, okay. Take this as it read. Oh, shit. There goes the death at the bottom of the deck and the emperor yeah take this as it resonates one of two things is going on here because everybody's story is not going to be the same someone moved on didn't say anything and they moved on towards a queen of wands whether that's a, a, a aries leo or a sag meaning they moved on to you or you aries leo or sag you moved on to someone else who was like a queen of wands either they was it they were an aries leo or sag or they were just very sexy very alluring things like that and you stole away you stole away from your empress to go towards someone who had sparked your loins, your passion, your eye, whatever. And you and this person, I think this person meant to steal you away from your path. The death with the hermit, with the death hermit, emperor, queen of pentacles, three of swords, chariot. Um... <laughs> I don't think you I, I don't think you went within. I think you went within too late. And you had noticed that you I feel I'm also hearing that you stole from yourself. So you stole this opportunity from yourself by deciding to move on towards someone who and, and I don't think you said anything. So this message in the bottle, thank you, Spirit, because I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this lane up. This message in the bottle was two ways. You should have said something when you walked away from your divine person, okay, towards the person that caught your eye, but you did it. Maybe you thought that you would be able to go over there, have a good time, then steal away and come back. I don't think that that's happening now, okay, for whatever reason. The other side of it is that your person, uh, you know, you still moved on, okay, behind the moon. And now this queen of wands who you were so passionate and all those things about is leaving you. And I hear her leaving you with bills, leaving you with the house. I think your name is on a lot of documents that their name is not on. So they're not legally bounded to paying back these debts. I feel like this queen of wands that you were so passionate to run towards and away from your feminine um, is now taking from you. They may also be just taking um, swords. So they may just be taking like your mental stability. Maybe you just feel like you just can't. You're always maybe you're always arguing or you're always going back and forth mentally about why you even took this path. So that's what I got. I'm not going to keep beating a dead horse. We're going to move on to buy the book. You know where you fit. You either ran off towards someone who you thought was really, really sexy and all these things. And now that person is running on from you or um, you're trying to run away from them now. Either way, you never made it clear to your person while you were running off. 
and I think your your divine feminine, she also decided, all right, well, if that's what you're going to do and you're not going to tell me what's going on, I'm going to just move on, pack my shit and keep keep on moving towards my my destiny. So even if you thought, so, okay, thank you, spirit. Even if you divine whomever, feminine or masculine, okay, if you thought, oh, I did all this behind the moon and my divine feminine doesn't know, she knows. She may not know the details. Maybe you got married. Maybe you got someone pregnant. Maybe you started at home with someone. She doesn't. She may not know those those granular details, but she can feel that you moved on to someone that you decided to try something with someone else. Okay? Yes, it's true. I know that you've probably been here and like, ain't no way. I'm telling you. Right here, right now, because I don't have time for fluff. And someone keeps trying to battle with me, energetically telling me that I don't know what I know. Your divine feminine knows that you decided to move towards something else. It could have been a job. It could have been a person. It could have been whatever it was that made you walk away from them. Okay? This is not like a normal, oh, I'm just ghosting and I'll be back energy. You understand? Because you bound yourself to something. You got married. You signed a contract. You signed a deed. You did something that you signed away on. You get what I'm saying? And because you took that step, this ain't a, this is not the normal ghost that you normally would do to your divine feminine. You did something extra and that something extra triggered this person, triggered your divine feminine to say, oh, okay, that's what we're doing. You're not going to, you're going to try to hide the shit from me instead of just talking to me. Okay. Then I'm going to go 1122. I just seen it. I'm going to go ahead and move forward. So I'm not about to get, I don't know who this is trying to battle me in, in, in the energy, in the ethers talking about, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about, or she doesn't know, or I'm good at hiding my shit. No, not that good. Not when the higher power, not when God's, not when God's the one that's divinely guiding this union. You know, lost your mind. That's why I buy the book. Thank you, spirit. That's why I buy the book is down here because you did not go buy the book. So yeah, where you decided that you were going to play back alley um, rules, spirit is the maker of the back alley. So there's nothing that you can do or that you can say that the divine is not going to protect this divine feminine from. Understood? All right, we got it. Buy the book. First card out. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Page of Cups. What is Page of Cups, spirit? I think it's time for, I think it was, I'm going to be honest, thinking, oh, you went from the Page of Cups to the Knight of Cups? Okay, still moving slowly, knowing that this is what you're supposed to do, but still moving slowly, still moving slowly. What else we got here, spirit? Yep, and you move so slow that I don't think your person wants your cup anymore. Five of cups. This innocent, oh, we can start something good, something great, something wonderful. All right, I promise I'm going to be back. I promise, I promise. Yeah, just keep holding on, holding on. Oh shit, she not here no more. Right, she not here no more. Mm-hmm, I let this go for too long. Mm-hmm, yep, one more, one more card. I think we're gonna need four cards in each lane, which is fine, one more card please, Spirit, yep. Yep, you knew that you should have been the Queen of Cups, maybe really getting in your emotions and, and offering, this is all emotions, this is all Cups. At the bottom of the deck is the hang one with the Seven of Wands, why were you so defensive? You knew you seen things from a higher, clear view. Why were you so defensive to to, to investing and in, in having justice? It, 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 they could have been a Libra. Yeah, there are nine of cups now. So by the book would have been getting in your emotions. By the book would have been offering your emotions, tapping into your emotions, really doing what you were being called to do. And I, I think you took too long. Every time you came around, it was like, oh, but I'm offering a little bit more. But it's like, but you're not offering anything. You offered a really good, I feel like you you offered a really good uh, uh, script to the play. I feel like it took you a long time to finally get that script off the ground. And by the time you're ready for lights, camera, and action, this person was no longer on set. Okay? I don't know why I'm talking in that manner. Maybe you're someone who writes scripts. I don't know. But you should have been getting in your emotions all along. And I think you also intuitively knew that this was your person. What's higher power possible three months down the line? Thank you, Spirit. Seven of Pentacles. So, um, investments, investing in something. Let's see. Let's go a little further. Next card out, Spirit. Yeah, the star. The star card. All right. Another card here, Spirit. Possible three months down the line. For our fire signs. The hair font. Wow. 
one more card, please, Spirit. Aries, Leo, and Sag, one more card, please, here. Thank you. Nine of Wands. Wow. Yeah, I got to say how I was, how I'm feeling it. This is not... <laughs> three months down the line, you're going to see that these little pinnacles, these little plants that your person was investing in that you thought was... I feel like you thought that they're either their business ventures, their corporate life, whatever they were wishing on a star for, I feel like you were looking at it like, oh, that ain't nothing. Like, that's... Come on, man. Like, you've got to have bigger goals or bigger dreams than that. Not knowing that this person was really the Hierophant. They had the keys to unlock a lot of, I'm hearing, ancestral wisdom. Things that are going to take them to the Nine of Cups if they're not already at the Nine of Cups. Do you understand? Like, this all, to me, normally when I get this card, they showed me these as accolades. Like, uh, certifications, degrees, um... Even if it's spiritual degrees, the high priestess and then the ten of cups. So, yes, this person, you, you're you going to be, I, I just got to take it how, how I feel it. Someone is going to come in like the Knight of Pentacles and offer this person something that's solid that they can really build upon. And it's going to make you feel, you might try to rush in to stop this person from moving on to their two of cups. You might try. Um, but right now, I feel, again, in the next three months, you're going to be very, like, watching and I feel like you're going to, every time you go to check in, it's going to be like another, feel like another burden, like another wand. Like you see how she's like all these like guards are up or something. Cause you're going to, you're going to, I feel like you're going to see it. You're either going to run into this person. You're going to see them on social media and you're going to see that this person, the investments that they made into themselves and to the wishes that they had on a star to grow in this higher power, to grow with God I don't know why you're so on the defense from it, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of you just feeling like now you have to defend it, defend them, defend yourself, defense, defense. It's like now you're possibly going to want to fight for this person or something to that nature. But your person is definitely moving to the Nine of Cups, uh, High Priestess. I mean, when you're already the Hierophant, it's like, well, damn, if you ain't going to come in here and, and be the High Priestess, then I guess I got to take both sides of this goddamn coin because I refuse. I'm telling you, you're a divine feminine and I'm getting feminine energy. Take it as it work, as it resonates. If you're not the person, if your feminine is the one who ran off with someone else, obviously, you're the other side. But I'm just feeling like one or the other person knows that they've been investing in themselves spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. And they know that, that big, big changes is coming. And your other person who ran off is like, damn, how do I defend myself? How do I get this back? I'm also hearing like a pole vault. Like how do I jump over all these leaps and bounds and blockages that I created? How do I jump over that and get back on my path with this person? I don't know if it's possible. Not with the higher power. And then we got the star, the Hierophant, and the high priestess. I don't. I think you might have missed that boat. I think I said this during the uh, somebody else's reading. It's like the, the cruise ship took off and, and now you're trying to jump in a dinghy. To catch the cruise ship so that you can get get on the cruise. It's like, oh, I think you might have missed out on that one. Like, even if you caught up, would they let you on the boat? Things that make you go, mm, mm, mm. All right, message in a bottle. Three cards, please, Spirit. The Love Oracle. Let's get some clarity. Thank you. I think that was, yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. You knew this was your soulmate. You knew there was a soul connection. You knew there was something deeper than just, oh, they look good. I look good. We have a good time together. You knew that. Hammer, sabotaged, self-sabotage, wanting to rekindle, rebuild the situation that has been brought to an ending. Oh, and I'm hearing this could have been coming to an ending slowly but surely over a long period of time. So, you know, mm -mm, take that as it resonates. Over a long period of time, yeah. This was someone that I think you wanted to marry or you at least thought for the first I'm here for the first time ever. I've really thought about marriage. But why would you walk away from it? I'm confused. Why would you sabotage the situation? Also, again, thank you, Spirit, because they're saying there was there's a they, they did this to me, which they did earlier, is that um, there's also a possibility that you need to also stop trying to rekindle and rebuild with this Queen of Wands, this seductive um what is that? Succubus? Succuduct? Su su okay. Whatever. Succubus? Seduction? Whatever. Whoever this very seductive person was that you need to bring that to a close and um, work on what you need to work on with your soulmate. That's not... I'm, I'm hearing that window is very small. That population, they're showing me like, you know, when you see like 
uh, a map and they're like population it's like population is very small for those who have a window with their with their person some of you already know that this is dead and gone next lifetime thank you erica badu it's going off some of you know that you have an opportunity some of you know that you have no opportunity just make sure you stay in your lane or at least put your turn signal on that's all i'm gonna say what is by the book three cards please spare by the book thank you yep the <laughs> so we have the phoenix so again rising from the ashes from things that have been dead and gone um things like a karmic relationship so again some of you do need to release from the karmic relationship um and move on into that phoenix energy allowing things that no longer serve you a purpose that resentment from old times that heartache from old times letting go and loving yourself and moving on okay Woo. all righty uh what else do we have here right exactly so from this karmic relationship that you need to burn down to the ground becoming the phoenix rising from the ashes new phases changed mind um what is that spirit uh, emotionally intelligent well wow, that's wonderful and healthy choices making better choices for yourself in mind body and spirit because cupid arrow love is coming love is going to come okay for you um but that karmic relationship, if it's not, if, the, if you don't remove yourself from that, <laughs> yeah, and start healing your heart, spirit can't bring in love, whether that's your person or a new love. Can't bring it in if you keep going on about this karmic relationship. What this, something just flipped out of my hand by accident. But there are no accidents, right? Not in, not in my readings. Love. You want love. You want Cupid's arrow. You want it to come. In order to do that, buy the book. By the book means the karmic relationship cannot go into you ascent into your ascension. Thank you, spirit. Someone just said that you are you trying. I said this before in my readings, trying to crown a clown. You cannot crown a clown, meaning an empress is an empress because she did the work. An emperor is an emperor because they did the work. They ascended. They opened their mind, their body, their spirit. They they became wiser. They stopped doing stupid ass shit. They stayed they stayed away from um uh what am i thinking of uh no, not in intel not uh god give me the word spirit give me the word at like adolescence immature thank you they stop doing immature things they they apply the wisdom from life they boss up and, and require better from themselves they do better things think better things help other people out you know what i mean it's not a me 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 type of energy when you're ascending you get what i'm saying you're you're serving a divine by becoming wiser and applying those lessons to your life you can't take someone who's not feeding to spirit who's not walking in their path into the light they'll get burnt and they won't be it's like taking a vampire into the child by higher power thank you the golden mirror yep so love bombing that has to stop self-absorbed narcissism having keys on a ring many options many decisions many people Ooh, what else is higher power here spirit next three months down the line possibly maybe that's thank you spirit i can't i can't it just flew right out healing your heart right bottom of the deck is the camera reminiscing keeping keepsakes like i said i do feel like when this as this person yep camera love photograph self indulge yeah you're going to be looking at old as soon as you, you're going to see this person bossing up if you don't see it you're going to feel it you're going to know that this person has begun to really get blessed on their path and it's going to have some it's going to it's going to spark a not just the mirror effect but the golden mirror effect meaning you may then want to try to come in and, and love bomb this person and all these things knowing that you still have a lot of options and healing of your heart to do it's up to you free will is written all over this reading right now free will is just written all over this reading three months down the line your person is going to be doing better i'm just telling you what they've invested in, what they've given over to spirit, the things that they have sacrificed is going to allow them to receive a lot of abundance. You now have to do that clearing up, cleaning up. You have to get a away from people who are sucking you dry. Not just the person that you're laying with um, romantically. I'm feeling like some of your friends, your co-workers, people that you spend a lot of time and energy with, they're sucking you dry. They may also have their own definition of what this person is or is not, which is also, I think, hindering you from seeing the light. 
Either way, I'm feeling some defensiveness as you start to come into feeling their energy moving on, okay? Two cards, please, for affirmations and love for the fire signs. One more. Thank you, spirit. Oh, wow. Well, there goes three. Bottom of the deck is signs. Instincts are the message from the inner divine. So the signs and the synchronicities that you've been getting to reach out to this person to get on your path. Wow. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. There's guidance. Guidance. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have fixed a star to follow. Then we say the star, because your person wished on a star. I'm pretty sure you probably at some point in time wish for them. That star can light your path, your path, if you allow it. Your path. It's the next card out. Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. Exactly. Right now, there's some fears and illusions going on. Because of, I truly believe it's because of people that are around you. There's divine abundance also waiting for you. You were born to align with love's will. Let me say that again. You were born to align with love's will. One more time. Thank you, spirit. You were born to align with love's will. Cupid's arrow. Your divine partner, not floozies. Follow the Tao and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundant, not chase it. I hope that helped you all. Thank you again for just allowing me um, this opportunity to channel your energy and give you a message 2626 as I look up. Uh, I hope this resonated for you. Please like the video. Leave me a comment. Give me some feedback. Um, and just thank you. I wish you the absolute best with your journey. I think that you know what to do. You may just be a little afraid to do it. Um, but step on out there and allow this peace, uh, this abundance, this love, this life to really come in and, and serve its purpose for you. So that you can live divinely happy as you're supposed to. So peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise to you and your loved ones. Namaste.